So you're a local business and you know the importance of being on the first page of Google. Well, today I'm going to show you how to master ChatGPT, give it the correct prompts so that you can dominate your local SEO. Even though this example is going to be for, you know, the med spa space, maybe estheticians or skincare professionals, the framework and the step-by-step -step that I'm going to show you applies no matter what type of business you're in. Let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT. Now, what you really want to be doing is something that looks a little bit more like this. I need an article with keyword parens as a placeholder. We're going to put a keyword in there and I will provide you instructions first. Now, the reason why we want to use a keyword is because we are going after topics and things that are being highly searched, highly searched keywords on Google. Now, I put together a full video that shows you all the different ways you can uncover exactly what's being searched on Google, all these really cool ways that you can figure out the highly searched keywords. And I'll include that link in the description. For this video, I'm just gonna hop into Google Ads and the Keyword Planner. So once on Keyword Planner, we're gonna go to discover new keywords. I'm gonna put in dry skin on face. That's a keyword that I think might be useful if I was a med spa or you know an esthetician, skincare professional create content around that keyword. Let's see what kind of search volume it gets. Now you can see right at the top here, dry skin on face. What I'm looking at is the average monthly search volume. That's gonna tell me, hey, this is a keyword that is worth creating some content around. So this is good, 10K to 100K searches per month. And this keyword right here, based on the search volume, based on the topic of what it is, I think it's gonna be perfect for us. So I'm gonna paste that keyword in. I need an article with keyword dry skin on face, but I will provide you instructions. And then I'm gonna type in, do you understand question mark? And I'm gonna enter and say, yes, I do understand. Please provide me with instructions. For the next prompt, I'm gonna to continue to give some specific instructions. So I have a medical spa called John's Med Spa located in Watertown, Mass that I need mentioned in the article. So both the name of the business and location, I'll talk more about that in a second. But I will provide you instructions first. And again, do you understand? Now I wanna make sure that I'm including the name of my business. So in this case, it's John's Med Spa, right? But I also wanna make sure that I'm including the location because when people are searching on Google, they're searching for the best whatever near me. And Google is gonna know the location of that person searching. You build into the metadata of this article, your location, the name of your business, and Google puts that together with where that search is being done. For the next prompt, I get even more specific and I tell it I need headings and bullet points for my article. Do you understand? And it tells me back, yes, I understand. Please provide me with those headings and bullets. Now with headings and bullets, right, it gives ChatGPT, you know, the idea that, hey, there's a priority to some outline and to some structure. And when you're creating blog content, especially blog content you want optimized for SEO, structure is one of the key components. So when it comes to these headings and bullet points, I'm gonna use it in the form of questions. So I'm gonna say, I need you to answer these questions and I'm gonna paste the questions here. Now, one of my clients who's a med spa actually helped me out with this and they provided some of their you know, FAQs, some of their most frequently and commonly asked questions. They're right here, I'll highlight these here and then I'm just gonna drop them right in. Okay, so I'm gonna paste the questions right there, but very important at the end, again, I'm gonna say, do you understand? And you'll see it answers me, it says, yes, I understand, and then it provides all the answers to these questions. As these questions, these specific questions are being answered, let's look at the idea of what else can we use this information for? These specific questions, what else could they help us with? Maybe it's just, you know, content ideas. Right, All these different questions could be great video ideas for YouTube, maybe YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. Answering the questions is kind of step one, right? Step two is we're gonna tell ChatGPT to write an outline for this article. Now, once I prompt it to write the article, it says, sure, here's an outline for the article. It has the keyword, it has the name of my business and also the location, the three key ingredients that I need to create a blog or an article that is gonna be SEO driven, okay? And it's gonna break down the entire article with this outline. It's going to give me that, you know, very important structure. Now, once this is done populating, I'm going to go down and I'm going to type in right. I'm going to go back up. I'll copy the introduction. I'll paste that there and then I'll hit enter. And what it's going to do is start to write the introduction of my article, right? And I'm going to go section by section. After this is done, I'll go back up. I'll copy number two. I'll paste that, hit enter, and it's going to write section number two for me. And I'm gonna go through this entire outline this way. And after it's all done, I'll be able to put it all together and I'm gonna have a very comprehensive, 
you know, well-structured SEO driven article for my local business. Now, chances are, if you enjoyed that video or found it helpful or useful, you probably like some of the other videos I have on my channel. I'll put a couple right here. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next one.